bet you thought it uh, disappeared and left you for a year again like last time. Life's just been really busy and I haven't really been scrapping for the last couple of weeks. Um, but today I am scrapping this picture from the summer of 1978. <laughs> it is me about a week before starting school trying on my first PE kit. So yeah, August 78 when I was four years old. <laughs> um, start school term before I start a turn five in the November. So yeah, um, lovely Giselle fixed it for me, the photo. And I'm going to be using uh, Chamel main character energy. So let's get scrapping. Okay, so what I've done is I took the A side of these two because these are B sides and I've cut the flowers that were on them out of what was left from doing the So the bit I've cut from under here, I've cut the flowers out of the leftover pieces and I've also from the six by eight paper pad cut a few butterflies. I've then, a little magpie has done one of their principal sheets for this collection, to coordinate with this collection. Um, so there are these which you can put the epoxy, the naked flare on, turn into flare. There's labels, square ones as well, and uh, round ones that all coordinate with the, with the colours in this collection. Um, I have printed them twice because my printer had needed cleaning and that's gone all yucky on some of the flare at the bottom. So this is where we're up to. And it still need to glue this trim in, I've not done that yet. Um, and going to get this all finished off. Now I've got those pieces cut out.
Right, we are gonna call that done. Um, I have used, so two sheets of the um, single open stock paper. I've used wet glue to, to stick the trim in. Um, I've used pattern paper that I have. So the B side, the, well these are the B sides. So the A sides of these that are the waste from what I've used for the, create the background. I've cut them out and I've used the back of the blue stripe on this layout and saved the back for another one. I've cut out some butterflies. So even now the ephemera packs are on back order um, at American Crafts. You know, there's so much in this collection that you can you can just do that and cut into the papers. Um, you know, there's so much you can use with it. I've created a wax seal and with a blank one inch stamp head and then sank a flare into it kind of gives me the feel of these buttons um so i've added some of the buttons just love these mixed embellishment packs that you get in chamel's collections i'm so glad that she's kept them in um i've used some of the star from the like the confetti bits some of the sticker sheet and um some of the puffies and these flare epoxy flare and these labels are from hey little magpies principle to coordinate with this collection so that's done i was journaling and shopping with mum before i started school tried on my first pe kit and dad took some photos in the garden and august 1978 at the top there so yeah that's done should do some close-ups for you shouldn't i <laughs> there you go so that's my cluster at the top a big cluster there loving the gold foil on them stickers my journaling cluster and then the bottom corner so i've done it so that the layout instead of my visual triangle the embellishments on a diagonal which is matches the kind of the point of the squiffy paper that's it thanks for watching have a good day bye bye